not only thank you for giving. And uh, I want to have a word of prayer because I need all the prayer I can get. And I don't do this a lot. So let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for the day. Thank you for everything given. Thank you for all these people that can come out and uh, enjoy the good food we had. And please help them just to have a good time after all. We're done with all this, Lord. And please help this to go well, Lord. And please give me a word to say. And I love you, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. I want to ask you guys a question real quick. I'm sure we've all heard this question, but it is a really good question. If God took from you everything that you didn't thank Him for yesterday, what would you have? I know I wouldn't have much. Because so often we forget to thank God for what He's given us. God has given us a lot of stuff in our life. He gave us this school so that we could come to this school and learn about Him. And we can learn about other things that they don't teach in public school. And the uh, first thing I want to talk about is um, a heart that gives cheerfully. And I'm going to read this out of 2 Corinthians 9, 7. It says, Every man according as he pur purposeth in his heart, so let him give not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth the cheerful giver. So right here, 2 Corinthians, it says that God loves the cheerful giver. It says we should not give grudgingly. We shouldn't give stuff to people that need it because, oh, they need it. We don't want to give it. We should give it cheerfully because God loves the cheerful giver. And we should not give up necessity because it's necessity. We have to give it. It's something that somebody requires out of us. We should give it because we want to give it to help that person or that cause that has come up. And then another thing that we can give up is everybody says that it's time. Time is a precious thing in this life. We can give of our time to other people. Somebody might have a job and they might ask you and say, hey, I need help with this. And you really don't want to use your time up to help them, but we can give of our time. And if we give of our time, we need to give of that cheerfully too. And then another thing I have on here is talent. God gives everybody talents. Sometimes he doesn't give everybody the same talents, but he gives everybody talent. And then I want to read something out of Matthew 25 about talents. Let me flip here. It says, I'm get this. it's quite long, but I don't think I'm going to read the whole thing. And unto one he gave five talents. It's talking about a master giving his servant something before he left on a long journey. And unto one he gave five talents to another and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. And he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same, and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained another two. But he that had received the one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoned with them. And so that he had received five talents, came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. And he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew that thou, thou, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strung. And I was afraid and went and hid, the, hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that design. And his Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gather where I have not strung. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received my own with usury. So what it says here, you had the first man who had five talents that the master gave before he left. That man went out and he used his talents. And he traded and he did what he needed to do with the talents that he was given. And he got five more. So when his master came back, he had ten talents. And then you had the second guy. And he had two talents. And he went out and did what he needed to do with his talents too. And he had four talents when his master came back. But then you had the last man. He had one talent. He went and hid it because he was scared. He didn't want to use his talent that God gave him. 
So when his master came back, he said, I went and hid my son. I didn't do anything. And his master said, you wicked and slothful man. We don't want to be wicked and slothful with our talents. If God gives us a talent, we need to use it. Because it says a heart that gives cheerfully. And if we have talents, we need to give our talents to God. And we don't need to be grudgingly giving our talents. Because God gave us all our talents. So we need to use them how he gave to us. Because God is a mighty God. And he could use us in ways that we never imagined. And then the second thing is we need to show gratitude. I don't have a verse for this. I wish I did. But we need to show gratitude to our, to our parents. This could go for grown-ups, kids, your parents passed away. I'm very sorry. But we need to show gratitude to our parents because our parents take the time to raise us. And they give us what we need. They, hopefully our parents raise us up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And that's what a child needs is the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And then the second thing we need to uh, show gratitude is our pastor. We have a great pastor standing in the back. We should show gratitude to the preacher. Preacher, and he shows us the way that we need to go. He leads us every Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Wednesday night what we need to do. He shows us what the Bible says about things. And if we have questions, the preacher is somebody that we can always go to. Even if we're scared to ask him questions, we can go there and he'll give us an honest answer. And then the third thing we need to show gratitude is people. Just people in our lives that do stuff for us. I know Brother Butch, he does a lot for me. He teaches me stuff that I would never figure out on my own. I know he helped me a lot when I first got chickens. He helped me build coops and stuff and pens. And he taught me a lot. And Brother Jim Shetzer, he teaches me a lot too. Just people in my life that I need to show gratitude. And then, of course, the most important we need to show gratitude is God. God gave us a great gift. He gave us the gift of salvation. And that gift of salvation keeps us from going to a devil's town. We would burn and suffer for all eternity. But thanks to God, we don't have to go there. We have a place that we can go. All we have to do is accept it. And if we've accepted Jesus already, we're going to heaven. We're going to spend eternity in glory. We're going to walk on streets of gold. We're going to praise God for all eternity. But if you have that and you're keeping that to yourself, that's selfish. We need to be sharing that gift. We need to share that gift with everybody. Because not anybody deserves it, but we got it. So that means we need to share it with everybody because everybody is equal in sin in our lives when it comes to Jesus. And then I have um, Romans 1.14, and I'm going to read y'all real quick. It says, I am a debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. Paul said that. Paul was a great Christian. Paul is a really good example for us to follow. And he said that I'm a debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and the unwise. If Paul said that, and he's a debtor, then that means we are truly debtors too. Because we need to tell others about this gift. It's selfish to keep it to ourselves. There's a story, I don't know if I get this perfect, but about virgins and they have lamps. And they were supposed to put oil in them. And they, seven of them had oil in their lamps and seven of them didn't. And the other seven that didn't ask the other person that said, can we have some of your oil so we can go in too, to the palace or whatever. And they said no. And they didn't share that oil that they had for an instant salvation. They didn't share it with those other people that needed it. And they didn't get to go in. So the only the seven that had the oil got to go in and they didn't share any of their oil with the people that needed it. So really what I'm trying to say is that we need to have a heart that gives cheerfully and then number two, we need to show gratitude to the people in our lives that help us or show us directions and the way we need to go. And then thirdly, we have a gift that's been shared, and that's the one I just told you about, salvation. And we need to make sure we thank God every day for that because if you think about it, I really would not want to spend my whole eternity in hell, even though that's what I deserve. So let's just pray, and I hope that that helps everybody. I love God, and I love this devotion he gave me. I'm glad he gave me the words to say because I was like freaking out before I got up here. <laughs> so let's pray. And then we'll go on and have a good time. Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for everything you gave us. Thank you for all the devotion you gave me. Thank you for speaking through me. And thank you for everybody that helped me with this devotion. And uh, please help the rest of the day to go well. Whatever's next, Lord, or just tell everything. And love you just in the name.